Good evening and welcome to Virtual Vespers at Community United Methodist Church in beautiful Fairfield, California. This evening's scripture reading comes from Psalm 84. How lovely is your dwelling place, Lord Almighty. My soul yearns, even faints, for the courts of the Lord. My heart and my flesh cry out for the living God. Even the sparrow has found a home, and the swallow a nest for herself, where she may have her young, a place near your altar. Lord Almighty, my King and my God. Blessed are those who dwell in your house. They are ever praising you. Blessed are those whose strength is in you, whose hearts are set on pilgrimage. As they pass through the valley of Baca, they make it a place of springs. The autumn rains also cover it with pools. They go from strength to strength till each appears before God in Zion. Hear my prayer, Lord God Almighty. Listen to me, God of Jacob. Look on our shield, O God. Look with favor on your anointed one. Better is one day in your courts than a thousand elsewhere. I would rather be a doorkeeper in the house of my God than dwell in the tents of the wicked. For the Lord God is a sun and shield. The Lord bestows favor and honor. No good thing does he withhold from those who walk his blameless. Lord Almighty, blessed is the one who trusts in you. The writer of this psalm is eager to be in the temple of God, and we get the sense that, for some reason, it's out of reach. In ancient Israel, the temple was the place where the believer could be renewed in faith and reconnected with God. It was God's dwelling place among his people. This psalm reminds us of our need for a home with God. We all need holy places. We all need to be home with God. You know, after this past year of staying at home and social distancing and sheltering in place, we found God in new places. And while the doors of the church have been reopened and we're beginning to gather again in person, it's my hope and prayer that we can continue to find God in the everyday. God doesn't dwell in the temple building any longer. John 2, 19 through 22, Jesus indicates that his own body is God's temple. In Jesus, of course, God came to be with us, to dwell among us. After Jesus ascended to heaven, the outpouring of the Holy Spirit on Jesus' followers turned us into God's temple also. Paul explains this in 1 Corinthians 3.16 and 6.19-20. God dwells in us and among us. We are the temple of God. God's people are in the temple building business. On the solid rock of Jesus, we are building a home to which anyone can come to find God. That is our mission, to be the dwelling place of God. God's temple is found in the hearts and lives of his transformed people. So, by his spirit, we are never far from the presence of God. Would you pray with me? Lord, thank you for living in us and making your home with us. By your spirit in us, help us to draw others to you that they may become your dwelling place too. For Jesus' sake, amen.